I'm going to show you how to set up a Bluetooth hearing aid into an Android phone for connectivity. It's important to note that there are two different types of compatible hearing aids. Some are made for iPhone, some are made for all or um, made for Android, and they're going to connect slightly differently. So this is not for made for iPhone, this is made for all or made for Android devices. The first thing we're going to do on your phone is we're going to go to the settings screen. Everybody's settings is located somewhere different depending on their phone, but a lot of times you can swipe from the top or the bottom and find this little gear icon which will take you to the settings screen and that's where I am now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the Bluetooth option. So on my phone it's under the connections and you can see Bluetooth is here. If it's not turned on it needs to be so. We're then going to click on Bluetooth and it's going to start looking for different devices. At this point in time, you need to turn the hearing aid off and back on again in order for it to be found. If you have rechargeable batteries, you can simply put the hearing aid in the charger and take it back out and that will turn the device off and back on again. Additionally, if you have rechargeable batteries, you can press and hold to turn it off. and then press and hold to turn it back on. If you have disposable batteries, as you probably know, you're just going to open your battery door to turn it off, close your battery door, and that will turn it back on. Now that I've opened and closed essentially or turned off and back on the hearing aid, I'm gonna hit scan so it can search for that device. And when we scroll down our list of available devices, you can see R for right, designer audiology hearing aid. So I'm going to click on that. It will tell me that it's pairing. And it will ask me, do you want to pair? And I'm going to say, okay. And then up top when it's done, you can see that it is connected for calls and audios. At this point, you can go back into your Play Store or your App Store, download the manufacturer's app to connect to the devices should you wish to do more things, and start playing with your hearing aids. Additionally, or finally I should say, all devices have an instruction manual that you received with your fitting. So if you have any questions, find the one that talks about the smart apps in the phone or go to your instruction manual. You can always find a phone number and a website for more information or call your audiologist and I'm sure she'll be happy to help.